Welcome to Roka Do It. Hope you guys are doing great and having great, great learning session in this COVID time. Well, guys, today I'm back with a greatest video where I'm going to tell you how you can secure any Windows server, either you're launching in a cloud or an on-premises from different types of SSL attack. So uh, if you don't know about the different types of SSL attack, well, uh, SSL, with the, uh, with SSL can uh, have a different types of attack if you are using any lower version of the protocol. For example, Beast, uh let me show you in the right way okay uh let me uh i hope uh i hope you can see uh or if not let me write and then uh show you a uh, different type of ssl attack that are uh, very common if you are using a lower version of the protocol and uh, that's why today i'm going to tell you how you can disable this lower version of the protocol crime and then breach so uh these are the uh five uh very common attack that happen if you are using either tls 1.0 tls 1.1 or uh, ssl 3.0 if you're using a uh, latest windows server like 2019 then you don't need to worry about the ssl 3.0 because by default ssl 3.0 is disabled in a uh, latest uh, servers or in latest browser uh, but if you are using older server then you should also uh, think about disabling the ssl 3.0 protocol in your into your server so uh by default uh even in the windows 2009 tls 1.0 and tls 1.1 is enable uh sorry uh, is enable in a server and if you are using a very high secure application uh on your http uh or, or basically uh any of your application you're using ssl then you must think about uh, disabling tls 1.0 and 1.1 from your server uh so basically what happened uh, uh explain you uh so let me uh, remove this uh, thing uh, okay so basically what happened uh there is a client okay and there is a server uh, sorry, uh, my Windows server is pretty slow. So basically, uh, what happened uh, in the in the very first packet, client sent a client hello to our server. Okay, uh, this is called uh, client hello. This is called client hello, where client tell this is this is a SSL handshake which I'm telling you. So uh, in the SSL handshake, client send the first packet which is called client hello. In the client hello, client basically tells what kind of ciphers it supports and which protocol protocol version it supports so basically client can tell like i support tls 1.0 and tls 1.1 suppose uh client tell that uh, i support these two uh ciphers and if in your server these two uh protocols are not disabled then server will accept the connection and start doing the handshake on any of these protocol so that's why it's very very important to disable these two important or basically these two vulnerable protocol from your server so basically what you have to do or what you have to do uh, you have to uh, do some changes in your registry i know it's a bit critical or generally people try to avoid working on a registry but this is the only way or you can also use a powershell command but at the end it will going to do apply changes only in the registry so what you have to do you have to go uh, here uh, in the windows bar and here you have to write reg and automatically you will get an option registry editor if you don't get an option you can uh, edit completely like this sorry or R E G E D I. So then you will again. Uh, then if if you write this uh, particular command uh, in your search box, definitely you will get this option. So click uh, double click on the registry, and this will open a new registry tab or basically new registry window. And here uh, you have to apply the changes. So this uh, change uh, disa of disabling TLS 1.0 and 1.1 is uh, on is is for complete local machine. Uh, not for user, not for root, uh, not for particular users. So we just go into the local machine. From local machine, uh, this uh, uh, basically uh, there are a lot of options you can see. 
and uh, we have to go to the option uh, of system because again for the system and from a uh, system we have to go to the, this option current control set I know it's difficult uh, to remember but if you do uh, practice automatically you will able to remember uh, if you disable two or three times into your Windows Server you, you will able to uh, you will able to remember this thing you can also uh, work on the powershell and just uh, write four commands and uh, the same powershell four commands will going to disable tls 1.0 1.1 version for you but here i am explaining in the gui so you understand uh, where we are uh, working in the registry to disable this from a uh, current control set we have to go into the control and then we see a lot of option and here in this option we just uh, press s because uh, the option which we have to select is security provider let me see okay here is the option security provider uh, again we don't need to work into this key we also again have to expand this key and from security provider we have to expand the s channel key you can see the s channel key and here is the actual work which we have to do so here you can see uh, cipher, cipher suit, hashes, uh, key exchange algorithm. So uh, here you can basically uh, disable and enable a lot of things by uh, calling the D word uh, 32 bit. Uh, so I explain you how you can do. Uh, here uh, in this video, we are going to disable TLS 1.0 and 1.1 version and going to enable TLS 1.2 version. So I'm going to tell you how you can do. First, we go into the protocol and the protocol, uh, first I do, I disable TLS 1.0 version. Okay, then, so first I have to create a two keys. One would be a client key. Uh, make sure uh, we write in the same way and then the second key which uh, sorry uh, before declaring the client key uh, we have to first tell that we want to disable for which protocol so first we have to write in that way tls 1.0 so first we call tls 1.0 key inside the tls 1.0 key we call the two keys first would be the client key and second would be the server key okay in the client key now basically uh, we are going to tell you we are going to tell that if a client is going to send us TLS 1.0 protocol for SSL handshake then what we should do we should basically going to create uh, sorry just avoid uh, just avoid the step we will going to create a devote key okay so this is a devote 32 bit value key this we will going to declare in the client and here we write enabled so if if in the enabled we say one then it will enable tls 1.0 handshake with client by default if you generate any devout key value is zero which is what we have to also choose zero means it is off enabled is off so that is a right value we don't need to apply any change we just click ok so that going to disable TLS 1.0 handshake with a client now we need to go to the server and here in the server again we have to create the same key but additionally we also have to do one more thing so I just write enabled zero is perfectly fine one more key which we have to call it here in the server side is disabled by default so this 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 key only we have to call at a server side not at a client side basically uh, we want to disable this key by default we don't want uh, even to enable we don't want even server to send this key so uh, to disable now we have set disable 
we want to off or on so if we if we put zero it would be off so we put one so by default now it is disabled you understand this process the same process now we have to follow for a uh, TLS 1.1 so I show you uh, quickly so I just write TLS 1.1 in the TLS 1.1 I create two keys client perfectly fine and one more key which is server perfectly fine in the client we go and create a devo 32 bit so new devo 32 bit enabled default value would be zero so i don't need to apply any changes at the server side I go in the enabled version it would be zero so i don't need to apply any changes I go one more key disable by default and here I choose one so that it would be disabled by default and now the other protocol on which I have to work is TLS 1.2 and here uh, again I created two keys here our procedure would be a little different client and one more key server perfectly fine in the client i generate one more devote key enabled but here that the hack is uh zero means it is off which i don't want to do i put one which means now it is on so i'm telling client that uh you are acceptable on TLS 1.2 version. Similarly, on a server side, I also put a, sorry, not a key. Delete, uh, okay. Similarly, on a server side, I say enabled. And here I put the value one means server is enabled for TLS 1.2 by this, you can secure your server if you want to use dtls then you can create a one more protocol for dtls if you are using older windows server then you have to create a key for ssl 3.0 and have to disable in the same way i disable tls 1.0 or 1.1 so be careful uh, which uh, windows server you are using uh, you are using older then uh, also consider disabling tls 3.0 now this disabling or enabling thing which we have done on a client side but what about oh sorry on a server side but what about the client side so in as i told you in ssl handshake the first packet come from the client so client is the person or client is the server or client is the resource which basically tell first to the server that i accept this protocol so client can also inform the server that uh, that I am totally okay to uh, do the handshake or TLS 1.0 and uh, being a client suppose you are uh, accessing any bank website or any uh, critical website and uh, being a client you also have to take care about the protocol which you are using to secure your connection so it is not only the server responsibility but it is also a client responsibility to secure its connection. So basically what do you have to do? You have to uh, open your internal explorer and then you have to go into the uh, advanced setting, uh, like internet options. So just go to the internet option and then from the option, go to the advanced setting, scroll down, scroll down, uh, so here so here is uh, the hack so here you can see that uh, my client is totally agree to accept connection on TLS 1.0 1.1 1.2 and I know TLS 1.0 and 1.1 is so vulnerable so what do you have to do you have to just disable it and apply the setting 
now your client will always and always send TLS 1.2 as an acceptable protocol in the client hello and this is how you can secure your SSL connection. I hope you like this session and please uh, work on this security of the SSL whenever you launch any Windows server it's very very easy if you do two or three times you will definitely remember and by this you will secure your application server. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day and have a great night.